Aloha! Welcome to another edition of ATOR Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about an app called Polar, P-O-L-A-R-R. -R. If you go to their website, it's polarr.co. It's actually a really cool app. It's free and they offer a subscription, which is basically $24 a year uh, or $2.49 a month, which is obviously like less than a cup of coffee. And it will allow you access to pro features and all kinds of cool stuff. And I highly suggest it and recommend it. But regardless, let's get into it. You can read more about that on your own. I'm going to go into the app. And it's called Polar Photo Editor. I'm going to go up to File, Open. I'm going to open an NEF, a RAW file for my Nikon D850. And so if you see, I got a picture of a Nomad Power Pack. I can go ahead and all these controls on the right-hand side... Are your adjustments so I can go and adjust my white balance for example same kind of thing like camera raw dialog box the way it's kind of laid out so you have access to your color balance you want to obviously well not obviously but you want to adjust your color temperature first so you don't go ahead and accentuate any kind of color cast or something I can go and increase the saturation I could maybe let me see I can try there's a little auto enhance I can click that no, not bad. Pretty poppy and cool. I can hit Command Z, undo that. I'm going to go and do this more manually. So as you see, each of these little things you can click on. So I can click on color, and it will show you the drop-down menu. I can click on light, and it will have a dehaze option. So all the same kind of goodies you get in Lightroom and Photoshop, you're getting here. And it's actually a really cool, easy-to-use interface and very user-friendly which is a lot easier to use than, say, Lightroom and Photoshop for many. So this is a super killer option for anyone who's a little intimidated with Photoshop or Lightroom and just want to get the same kind of power. Um, again, you got DAs, exposure, brightness, contrast, highlight recovery, shadow recovery, white, black, all that kind of stuff. You got detail and sharpen. So I can do any of this. Click out of the light section. I'm going to click out of detail. You are actually in detail. We got a denoise feature. This is part of the pro um, subscription. So again, super killer. Gives you the ability to remove noise and the luminance and the color channels. I can click out of that. You got a vignette. So white vignette, black vignette, same kind of functionality as camera raw, for example. You can control the feather of the vignette, all that kind of good stuff, the roundness, the size. Um, what else? You got hue saturation lightness or luminance. And I don't really mess with this. You can. I just don't personally mess with that too much. Curves, I do. So I can go ahead and hit the RGB curve. And there's going to be the little curve down here. So you can drop a point, add a contrast curve, a little S curve, for example. You can go into the red channel, see if it looks a little better with less red, more red. You can hit Command Z again to undo out of this. And mind you, it has this app is good for both Mac and PC. So again, there's really nothing you can't do with this. I am just kind of covering some of the things you can get into. So you can, you know, defringing. You got Pixelate, which you know, don't necessarily think I'd be using, but regardless, all kinds of cool little effects and filters. Um, now on the left hand side. You have all these different filters. Now, this is something that's really cool. I can click into this. Actually, I think it's a right click. So I can control click and I could watch and learn. And if I do that, I can either watch and it will give me a step by step tutorial or I can learn and it will allow me to interact and actually manually adjust like here. If I hit learn. It's going to show me the before and after a result. Then I'm going to sit begin in the upper right hand corner. And then it's going to tell me what to do. So it's going to say set vibrance to 49. So you basically are learning as you go with these filters to see what is being done to accomplish the effect, the look that you're achieving or setting out to do. So I'm going to click out of this and skip. But again, that's something that's super cool. Not many, I've never seen any software that allow or any app that allows you to do that. So again, if I go ahead and right click, control click, I can go watch and learn and I can just watch. So I can let it just do its thing. 
and it will say what it's doing. Set tint to 15, adjust color, set vibrance to 82, change the saturation without washing off skin tones. So you get, you know, some cool little tips and tricks just by using these filters. I'm gonna hit Command Z, undo that, then do that again. Now, one of the favorite parts for me is this text and shapes, this little A right here. So again, this is all your filters and you got a ton of them. So if you see more filters, you got all these to go through. And that's pretty cool. So all of these you can go and learn and watch and see what it's doing to achieve these results. So with that, I'm gonna click out of the filter section and text tool gives you the ability to add shapes. So I'm gonna just go into a preset. You can play with these. I'm not gonna to get too involved right now because it's gonna be a 40 minute tutorial. I can go into presets and I can click something say, you know, like this. Now this company is called Nomad, the power pack. So say I'm wanting to design something for them. I can click on this text area. Whoop, let me see, there we go. I can hit Nomad. Boom. Now I can play with the outside area and there's all kinds of different things you can do. You can change the opacity. You can change the blend mode of it to get really subtle different types of effects. And I'm gonna go and play with the text for a second. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. I'm gonna go to this upper left end. It's Panton L. I'm gonna go over here, I believe. Their font is Gotham. I think I got it from them because I am an ambassador and work with Nomad a little bit. Um, so say something like that allows you to design really simply and beautifully. And again, they give you presets and you can do all kinds of stuff. As I said, you can do shadows, drop shadows. You know, as you see, I don't know where this is being affected right now. I'm gonna get out of that before. So this lower right-hand corner gives you the before and after preview. So before, after. Now, that's pretty rad for an app that costs, what, $25 for the pro features for one year. And it gives you the ability to learn and do all kinds of cool design and text and shapes. Really cool. And I highly suggest you download it and play with it. They have an app for your iPhone as well. So you got an iOS polar app and you got the desktop version which is super cool and i use it all the time so again with that being said you can see the power from working with a raw file now this is again an icon d850 killer camera file to that and it's giving me the same kind of control that i have in photoshop and believe me i use photoshop religiously <clears throat> super snobby when it comes to retouching and editing and post-production and this hangs with any of them. And I'm super stoked to have used it and be introduced to it. And I hope you guys play around with it too. Aloha and have fun. Bye.